Alrighty then, hello guys and welcome to Clash of the Titans round 4 between Doubt and Stark. This is game number 1 and we do have ourselves a Clash of the Titans map pack for the first one as usual and a pretty cool map. It's like uh, Sand Maze, I believe this map is Sand Maze um, and we'll talk about the map in just a moment's time. But down to the sort of southeast of the map in blue, we do have ourselves Mr. Doubt. He's playing as the Persians. And over to the far west of the map in red, we have ourselves uh, Stark playing as Persians as well. The map, as I said, it is uh, Sand Maze. And this is a pretty cool map. It's really interesting, actually, because you can actually dock... Um, right here on the shore, but your fishing ships and your galleys can travel all the way around on this sand. In fact, there's even some big fish in the sand. So, uh, it's a pretty cool map, and it does mean that taking sort of water is important because you can gain a huge amount of map control by actually taking some galleys and controlling this center area. I know Team Tyrant have actually played quite a few games on this map in practice, so I think once Doubt realizes what map it is, um, he's going to be very much aware and going to have a good strategy for this one. I've not really seen Stark play that much recently, but in his last um, games in the Clash of the Titans versus... I believe it was Alive. They were very, very close indeed. And obviously Alive is a great player. Um, so, I don't know. Stark, I've not really seen too much from him recently. And I kind of think that perhaps uh, he is a little bit sort of off his peak at the moment. But then again, so is Doubt. Neither of these guys have actually faced each other that much in the last few months either. I'm just looking at their statistics right now. And... Um, Neither of them have them each other as frequent opponents, so they've not really played that many games against each other. As far as Persians are concerned, well, I have a quick look. Um, not really many games played as from Stark as Persians, but much more played as Persians from Doubt, just looking at their Vubly history right now. Uh, either way, though, this map is pretty cool. Uh, we can probably see some very easy walling as the um, trees here are surrounding their bases quite easily. But I've got to say, Stark has got some pretty nasty gold right here. And, oh, wow, losing a villager right there as well very early on is certainly not ideal. So if we have a look down here, this gold pile, this gold pile as well. Not ideal as they are so close to the edge of the map and of course you know it's not the end of the world it's not like they're completely surrounded by trees but it's always nice if you can actually get some proper coverage on these gold piles by being able to get villagers all the way around this one at the back though is going to be very easy for stark to secure so that's not too bad for him doubts gold well again going to be pretty easy for him to take that he can wall across here quite easily if he wants and the back to secure this gold his second gold is a little bit further out on the back but at the same time, uh, it's a bit open, so it could be easy for Stark to start attacking that with some archers or something a little bit later on in the game. And obviously, knowing where their gold positions are and that such is so important, as both of them probably going to be wanting to target their opponent's gold whenever they get the opportunity to. So at the moment, we can see both of them then getting up the docks in the center of the map. And both of them are going to be taking those big fish right there. And I imagine we're going to see three or four galleys. But it's interesting because this map is such a great hybrid. It's one of those maps that you can go for full water. But you could also go for full land and do just as well. Though in most situations, players would be much more inclined to focus on water. As obviously the benefit from gathering the big fish is so much higher. So at the moment then, just going to be doing a pretty standard Dark Age build and perhaps starting to wall off pretty early as well. And both these players are playing as Persians, so we could see, well, we could have seen a Drush, but it's very uncommon when you're making water as well to do a Drush at the same time. Um, if this didn't have water in the middle, perhaps we could have seen a Drush out of these guys, but as it stands, that is pretty unlikely to happen. However, Doubt... Getting a good bit of scouting on Stark right now. Going to be scouting out those uh, lumber camps. Scouting out where his gold is as well. And uh, Stark, no scouting information of Doubt Space whatsoever just yet. Uh, he's actually not at found him at this moment in time. And that's kind of a big deal because obviously the fight for the middle will go on for a while. But once that sort of ends or once that's... Or once they get to the stage where they can start adding in some land, knowing where your opponent is, of course, that's one of the most important things you could possibly know. One of the most important pieces of information you could hold. 
It seems though like doubt right now. He's gonna be going for a pretty standard water build right here, moving all of his villagers over to wood and gold. Stark pretty much doing exactly the same, taking all of his villagers onto wood right here, and three villagers at the back to gold. Um, I feel like I'm about to sneeze constantly. It's really horrible. So if I end up sneezing, I apologize. It's like constantly sort of tickling my nose and it's really annoying. I have no idea. Uh, both of them then taking the center, as I say, second dock and third dock likely to be on the way. Both of them up to feudal doubt with a couple of seconds advantage, and that could be enough, especially at this close range, to really make quite a bit of difference on the water. Two galleys coming straight out for him right there, and Stark going to be doing the same in just a moment. But of course, Doubt going to have that slight edge as his galleys will be coming up first, but it's not really going to make that much of a difference. So if we have a quick look now, it's still sticking on to two docks for the time being. And I'm not sure where that villager actually went, but it looks like both of them, uh, well, Stark right there taking his villager back. Doubt moving his villager right back to his town center. So it looks like Doubt just going to stick on the two docks for now. And, you know, maybe he could prevent Stark getting up a third, but it doesn't look like Stark is really interested in going for a third dock anyway. Both scouts going down right there, and uh, that's pretty interesting because Stark losing his scout there, and he doesn't actually know where Doubt is. He could probably safely assume he is over here though because of the dock position, but even so, he hasn't actually scouted his base, which is quite a big deal because obviously if Doubt does start going for some land now, and if Stark wants to counter that, he's not going to actually know exactly where to head to, whereas Doubt adding in this barracks right now could be going for some land army in just a moment's time and he's going to know exactly where to hit stark he's going to know where his lumber camps are and where his gold is being taken so doubt is in a good position right there and as well as that starting to take the middle slightly stark moving his uh, galleys around right here and losing almost an entire galley in the process but stark's trying to get those fishing ships from doubt right here and doing a good job so far making him lose one stark is down to just one two Sorry, uh, fishing ships himself. So, Doubt seems to be coming out on top slightly in this center area right now. And as long as he keeps up that uh, galley production, he'll be able to remain on top. Stopping galley production right now, though. And Stark is continuing galley production, but he is losing out to Micro here. Having splitting up his, so well, splitting up his uh, galleys like this is costing him quite a lot. And Doubt really not losing anything in this center area. Uh, pond right here whereas Stark losing a lot of galleys and you know that's all down to micro because they had both had two docks they've both been creating galleys since pretty much the start of the game and it's li literally just poor micro from Stark causing him to lose so much right here losing those fishing ships as well and Stark now probably just going to go for a almost suicide run to take out Doubt's fishing ships wherever he can Barracks and archery range down for Stark though on the right hand side. Two archery ranges and a barracks for Doubt. So we are going to see archers coming out for both of them. And if we have a look at how much gold they're taking, they are both going to be sending more villagers over to gold right now. Though Stark seemingly sending a little bit... Ah, uh, oh, there we go. He's going to send another... Oh no, never mind. Wow. He's only going to keep four villagers on gold. That's kind of interesting. I suppose he's only got one archery range, but he's going to need more villagers on gold if he wants to keep up production from two or maybe even three. At this stage, I think he's just pretty much given up water. He's lost most of his water control right here. Uh, two galleys, three galleys even. Two very low on health and one fishing ship, which is about dead as well. Um, doubt not capitalizing on that yet, though. Not adding in any fishing ships for the time being. But using these galleys to see what he can see and keep an eye on Stark. Of course, Stark, if he sends any archers out right now, Doubt could intercept them with the galleys. And that would do quite a bit of damage. But he is going forward right now as well. Got two villagers here. We could see a tower coming for him. And Stark really doesn't seem to have that much to defend with. Uh, he's actually, well, he has got the two archery ranges, creating some archers. But as I say, he's not got a huge amount right here. And with these uh, galleys from Doubt to kind of back it up, he's going to be in a great position if Stark releases these archers and he uses the galleys to fight. Perhaps we could see a tower as well coming up for Doubt right here. Going to be pretty tough because of the town center location um but gonna put a tower up right here anyway gonna be on the wood of stark stark though of course going to see it putting up a tower in defense but this is the kind of situation that you don't want to be in defending yourself from an opponent's a real aggressive push could even lose these archery ranges to the galleys because of course galleys are going to be very effective at starting to take these out and there's one dead archer for stark almost instantly 
as Doubt's galleys just slaughter it pretty much. So Doubt is in a pretty good position right here. He's obviously keeping Stark on the back foot, trying to make sure that he uh, stays in kind of defender's position. Doubt, interestingly though, not taking any stone now though. So if that tower fails to go up, which it looks like it will, he's not going to be able to get another tower up. And ah, there we go, just moving some villagers over to stone right now. Perhaps looking to get up another tower, maybe even... Uh, just try and get this one up, but either way, uh, making sure he takes in that extra stone for more TCs once he reaches the castle age at the very least. Right now though, Stark looks like he's actually going to lose this archery range right here, which is pretty bad news for him. He's actually stopped production from here as well. And if that archery range goes down, he's got even less production. And I'm starting to wonder what Stark's actually going to do right here. Um, at the moment though, managing to take out those two villagers from Doubt, which is pretty good for him and one archer as well but as i say if he loses these archery ranges he's going to lose any military production and he's just going to have to kind of wall up and try and boom behind this but of course doubt is going to find a way in you can't play the defenders game forever he can go around the side he can go around the other way he can bust down palisade walls as well if he so wishes and stark now quite a bit of idle time on these villagers a little bit of a messy economy because he's been forced into a bad position here but it looks like he's going to try perhaps and go up to the castle age Doubt still looking in a great position. He's got so much population right now, 64 compared to Stark's 45. And with so many archers and skirmishes out, you know, he might even decide to make a run through this TC with these skirms. It's certainly not impossible. But he's definitely looking for a way in, and he's not going to stop until he's found it. Doubt is pretty persistent, and in this game, looking like he's doing a great job. Surprisingly, though, not adding in any more fishing ships. But it's not so much of a huge deal, I suppose. He's, he feels like he's in a good position. And there we go, the second tower as well. And Stark now hasn't been taking any stone. He's only just getting a, a mining camp up on this stone camp back here. But uh, Doubt is going to have this tower up. And Stark's going to be in a bad position because he's not going to be able to get up a counter tower. And it does mean that this tower will help to, of course, take down this palisade. And Doubt can make his way into the back of Stark's base. If he puts up another tower on uh, this stone right here, then Stark won't be able to defend at all. And that is a pretty terrible situation for him to be in. This stone on the front already taken by Doubt right now. And Stark doesn't seem to be really doing all this much about it. He's just kind of st trying to stay calm. But Doubt, going to make it through that uh, palisade right there. Going to push his way into the back. And we could see another tower from him coming up at the back around here. Stark, though, has got enough for another tower right now. And perhaps we will see that from him. But as I say, Doubt's looking in such a great position. Didn't notice that one though. Stark sending a little bit of a counterattack over to Doubt's base. Doubt doesn't actually have anything to defend with, bringing some units back from the front right line right now. And uh, upgrades are also in favour of Doubt right now. So Doubt's looking pretty good right here. There's plenty of skirmishes as well, so he should be able to deal with these archers pretty quickly. Maybe a little bit of a mistake putting these villagers back onto farms so quickly though. Stark could get a couple of villagers for absolutely nothing right here. There's one down. We can already see two down right there. But there comes Doubt's army. And that's going to get cleaned up pretty damn quickly. Stark going to have a very tough time getting out of there alive. Especially as he runs past the TC. So one archer perhaps going to survive. But Doubt now coming in at the other side looking for Stark's gold. And we're going to see another load of dead villagers for Stark right here. And you know in this position what can Stark really do? He's lost his uh, entire army trying to get a counter-attack over at Doubt's base. He's got a lot of build-up of resources, but unable to spend them. I mean, he's not built another archery range or anything back here. And right now, he's really relying on towers. But he's actually forced off of gold, uh, sorry, stone right now by Doubt's aggressive towering. And this reminds me almost of the Sand Maze game that Doubt played against Chris, where he had Chris resign in about 15 minutes just because he towered him. Uh, you really kind of wouldn't expect Trushing to work all that well at this level, but Doubt is pulling it off pretty well. And not only that, he's literally just clicked up to the Castle Age, well, hit the Castle Age. And as soon as that happens, Stark, of course, gonna say GG right there. And well done, Doubt. Very well played indeed. And, uh... I don't know, that was a very interesting first game. I really thought Stark would have put up a better fight than that, but Doubt absolutely crushed him right there. And I just don't understand his mentality of not making more archery ranges, not continuing his military production. Doubt just had so much, and Stark was really unable to stop him from pushing in right there. He had nothing to stop him at all. So there we go. We're going to come out right now and go to game two in just a moment's time. So uh, don't go...